today we are doing exams on our three yellow-headed temple turtles. We have two girls and our boy George, and we're doing some egg checks on the girls. The egg checks give us a lot of information on these female turtles. It allows us to know um, if they're reproductively active, if they have follicles developing, um, have they laid eggs in the last several months between the egg checks. So there's a lot of information that we can gather from just a very quick ultrasound and an x-ray. Turtle time. Hi, Saul. Hello. This one's lively. Is that it? This is it. Okay. <laughs> is that it? You want more? I can bring more turtles. The yellow-headed temple turtles are one of the most endangered species of turtle on the planet. And they get their name because you'll see them pop up in Buddhist temples. We have never successfully bred this species here. We know they have eggs. We've been monitoring the eggs. We've actually, unfortunately, had some laid in the water. They didn't lay them in their nest pit, and we, we weren't able to retrieve them. Off you go. Tessa, your girls are coming out. The first step is to do all of the egg checks on the girls, which starts with a radiograph, which will tell us if there are any fully developed eggs. Temple turtles are part of a species survival program, which means that someone controls their genetic viability very, very closely in pairs, males and females, to make sure that these populations are sustainable under human care. Oh, <gasps> She got them. She got them. Those look like they're ready. First turtle on the docket today did not have eggs last time. Sure enough, she's loaded with eggs this time. And they look like they're pretty far along. That was five eggs, right, Tessa? Yeah, there was five in there. On a more important note, have you thought about giving them names? Listen, you guys name our stuff, all right? You've been better at Ask naming. Like, George is a great name. George is our male yellow-headed temple turtle. On the whole, the reptile department doesn't like naming things. Um, they have their reasons for this. Tessa, he said you can name the girls. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't already, <laughs> to be honest. Tessa, you want so some what help are you going to uh... name them? I don't know. Gladys. Tessa and I definitely like to give animals names. So during um, one of George's first exams, we decided to collectively come up with a name, and Tessa and I decided George was quite fitting. Would they all have to be Gs? Oh, that's true, yeah. That's gonna, oh, that's gonna confusing. That's a follicle. Who's naming him here? You or Tessa? I'm just, I'm giving help. Let her have some creative control I'm here. You're a micromanager. So we know she has eggs based on the x-ray that we did, but we just want to also see if she's got follicles developing. Follicles in a reptile are undeveloped, unfertilized eggs. So having a number of follicles in the ovary basically gives us an indication of how many eggs may potentially be formed. Once they are fertilized, they can become a fully developed egg. There's follicles in there as well as shelled eggs. It's good because we really want her eggs, but it's bad because she can't go outside until she lays them, so. These guys, you know, live in the reptile house in the winter uh, and then go out in the pools in the summer. But unfortunately, if we put them out with eggs and they lay out there, neither the eggs will get eaten by a predator or we'll just, we'll never be able to find them. It's such a huge space. So this one we're expecting to see no eggs on? Hopefully. Female temple turtle number two. She's the one that laid the nine eggs we found in the water. So we're not expecting her to have any more at this time. Oh my gosh. Give she, more. Yes. She's the uh. reproductive demon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's just pumping them out. So both of the girl temple turtles have eggs, which is a fantastic thing. The next step is to get them fertilized to create baby turtles that can be hatched out and contribute to the population. Coolio. Well, they look good. They're doing things naturally. They're reproductively active. I like it. I understand that you want them to do it at a certain time, but... Unfortunately, the girls, I mean, yeah, they don't get to go outside right now, but they have eggs and we need those. And it's helping their, the future of this species. Go turtle team. <laughs>